what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel again hope you are fine so guys on the request of my one of the subscriber i'm gonna building the video on how you can program your kk 2.1.5 flight controller for quadcopter or any kind of the multi rotor so guys watch whole video and stay tuned with me if you skip this video i'm 100 percent sure you can't able to build your card or program kk 2.1.5 flight controller so guys stay tuned with me and watch whole video so guys first of all what you have to do power on your flight controller as as you can see guys i plug in the battery this is the battery of my flight controller and then this is our flight controller okay as you can see guys this notify there is a mention came over safe okay in some time there is an error also came so what you have to do first you have to turn on your transmitter first then you have to turn on your flight controller never turn flight control first then transmitter you have to turn on your transmitter first then flight controller otherwise it will be show error okay guys now it will show safe so first of all what you have to do just just go enter button press the enter button of the flight controller let me focus it up okay guys so press the enter button as you can see guys there is a lot of uh, questions came in your mind there is a lot of settings so what you have to do first of all you have to choose your mode means which motor layout means which is your drone is okay so load motor layout so click on it so there is a lot of options came over there is a single copter single copter then your dual copter quad copter then guys is a tri copter there is a lot of options in my case guys i am using quadcopter so what in the x configuration there is a two configuration plus and x but i am using the quadcopter x configuration generally a lot of we are mostly we are using the quadcopter on the x configuration so you can also choose x configuration let's enter sure yes so guys we have now we have load our motor layout as you can see guys the direction of our each of the one of the motor first is uh, clockwise counterclockwise then clockwise counterclockwise let's see first is uh, clockwise second is uh, counterclockwise third is uh, clockwise and fourth is counterclockwise guys okay so guys then what you have to do just step back then you have to go in ACC then guys we have to go in ACC calibration and calibrating our ACC means accelerometer so let's calibrate so before calibrating the accelerometer you you have to put your flight controller in stable place then you have to calibrate your flight controller so we have put our flight uh, drone in a stable manner and the, we have to continue then guys it will be take five seconds to calibrating as you can see guys calibrating though those are the three accelerometers xyz it sh should be okay so continue as you can see guys calibration succeed okay guys we have do the ACC calibration now now there is a third step for begin your flight you have to go in safe level settings as you can see guys my safe level setting is P gain is 50 and P limit is 30 you have to put your values as the same in your flight control those are the best pi limit for get stable flight and 
then guys you have to go in receiver test so guys those value should be zero as you can see guys my aileron is minus three so where is the, I'm take my remote and move the aileron as you can see guys the value will be changed so guys as you can see guys I have set the values into zero by the help of trims in a receiver not a receiver in a transmitter okay guys so those values should be zero as you can see guys there is a rudder rudder is also minus four so what I have do just take my trims and set into zero so it's near about zero so guys you have to check those things then back again then guys PI editor so guys this is the important setting of our flight controller for get the stable flight okay guys of so what is a PI editor PI editor is the main function of your flight controller means how will your flight controller react when you will put the values of from the transmitter to your flight controls means guys if you uh, do the flight PI settings too high so guys your flight uh, drone will be react fastly or if I put the low values of PI editor then you will flight controller or drone will be react slowly when you press any kind of the switch on your transmitter okay guys so we have to put a mean values for get a stable flight and better flight so first what we have to do enter in a PI editor settings so those are my settings you have to put same values in your PI editor okay for changing the PI values you have to press entry so you can do the plus minus guys those are the best PI values for get stable flight so you have to put the same values that I am shown in the video P limit for the aileron the P limit is 75 not a P gain is 75 P limit is 45 P gain is 40 and P limit is 20 for elevator there is the same values P gain is 75 P limit is 45 P I gain is 20, 40 and I limit is 20 guys then for the rudder these are some values are changed P gain is 75 P limit is 20 and I gain is 30 and I limit is 10 so guys you have to put the same values in your flight controller for get the stable flight so let's back then guys you have to go in the mode settings as you can see guys there is a safe level you have to put always safe level mode okay you can put the known but I recommend that you have to put a safe level mode on always okay guys then you have to link a roll or pitch yes then the, those are the settings you don't have to do any kind of the things with with the, those settings leave at it is then stick calling as you can see guys for the stick calling those are the values for stick calling you have to put the same values in your flight controller so guys as I was shown in the videos though those are the settings of the flight controller of KK 2.1.5 so you can put the same values that I was shown in the videos in your flight controller so guys you will get the stable flight I'm 100% sure so guys remaining all settings leave at it is okay guys you don't have to do anything with the remaining settings those are the perfect you have to do just uh, settings some kind of uh, stuff so like I was shown in the videos you have to put the same values then you can able to get the stable flight guys if you face any kind of the problem you can ask me on my whatsapp or in the comment section okay guys so stay tuned with me for the next videos until goodbye if you like the video then guys make sure you subscribe our youtube channel